Welcome to this Foundation Computing focus on another part of Office 365 you have available for free. Previously we took a look at Forms, the tool for creating quick surveys, so if you haven't tried that yet, go and have a look at that video first. However, you should find Sway nearby or through the All Apps panel on the top left. Now Sway is all about producing web page-like content, putting your own ideas into a form that can be viewed on any device by anyone. You can create Sway content based on previously created documents. To do that, click on Start from a Document. You can then select any Word or PowerPoint document you want to import, and Sway will read the document and build the web page for you. But we're going to explore building content from scratch. So click New Blank Sway. Now we start by giving Sway a title, which is what it's going to be called in our list of Sways, so pick carefully. You can also provide Sway with a background image for the title, which can be displayed behind the title or to one side, depending on the design style chosen. More on that later. So let's get ourselves a nice computing style background image. That'll do nicely. Now time for a quick tour of what content you can add. So you'll see in the suggested items you can add headings, text, images, stacks of content, see later, and upload content from a document. Drilling into the specific menus, text gives you headings and text, media provides images, video, audio, as well as other embedded content, for example quizzes from forms. The group option gives you different ways to bind content together, we'll explore that in a bit. So I'm going to create a heading first, which looks like a page or section title. So I'm going to add some content from previous Foundation Computing videos into a section. Next I want to put these videos together so they automatically group together, depending on the layout, so I'll create an automatic group. And then select to add a video to this group, opening the panel on the right. So I'll pop to our NKS Computing YouTube channel and copy the link to our previous forms video. Once that's done, I can then add uh, another video in the same way, this time our video editing introduction. Obviously I could add more, but I'll stop at that point. So a new section, this time with computing images. So I'll add one of those stack groups to that section and produce a stack of a few computing related images. So I'll browse through a few here and get those added to the stack. So you'll notice that I'm browsing through images by a direct search and then adding the items one by one. Final section, just adding some general text which can have bold, what's called emphasis added, and be adjusted to all sorts of different sizes. Now the real principle of Sway is that it separates the idea of content and style. So unlike PowerPoint where you have to be very careful what you add to each slide, it's very hard to insert extra content without redesigning slides. Sway dynamically adjusts the style based on the content. So once I press play, the Sway will preview and I can see my content built using the default style. You'll notice this is a horizontally scrollable format with the videos embedded. Moving across to the stack of images, you'll notice they can be viewed by clicking on the stack and individual images can be shown large. Moving from the storyline section to the design section, then pressing styles top right, I can browse through the different options including vertical, horizontal and a more PowerPoint style slides format. Remix at the top chooses the fonts, style, colours at random, so I can keep pressing this until I get a style I like. I can also click Customise to deep dive into the settings for colour, animation, text size and fonts used. When I settle on a style I like, the big power is dynamic scaling. The content automatically resizes to the window size of the browser, so if I make the window wide and narrow, the content will automatically resize. I can even view the same content on a portrait view, for example if I was to view it on a mobile phone and the content will be automatically reformatted to show the content in the best way on that device. So Sway is a wonderful tool for producing content in a web page blog style, especially when you know what the content is but prefer to leave it to professionals to generate the style and presentation for you. So try it out yourself and think of Sway next time you're tempted to open PowerPoint for a presentation project.